We've done in nearly seven months. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I figured out there was a problem with my bass. You think you have a problem with your bass? No, I figured it out. Okay. The active on the amp. I turned it off. Don't worry. Shit, boy! Just turn on the sound man, then it might get a lot louder. I'm sorry. Sorry if we ruin everything. Okay, everyone ready for another song? You don't have a choice. <laughs> Raise a cloth. Show me a. Okay, okay, I'll start again. Yeah. Raise a cloth. Show me your face. Dig it out. There's nothing there. Screaming, repent. Unholy guilt. I feel sick. There's nothing I've
your kick pedal. I think Brian's having a problem. Sorry. <laughs> okay. What? It's time to fill some time, Mark. Oh wait, is it actually completely gone? How do you, how do you? Um, oh, dude, wait, I actually had a good joke. Well, tell it, man. Um, no. <laughs> My dad has some jokes, but they're, I don't want to say them because they <laughs> use naughty words. Uh, um, um, how's your day been, Mark? It's all right. Yeah, what have you been up to? Uh, I ate a coronation chicken sandwich. I ate half a coronation <laughs> chicken sandwich. Yes, for coronation chicken! <laughs> An elephant can hold 10 gallons of water in its trunk. I'll tell you a bonus fact. Elephant is the only mammal with four knees. What is an elephant's closest relative? A small rodent. I love raccoons. You know, me and Ryan watched a video on YouTube the other day, and it was a guy hired a raccoon for 24 hours. And I know! He had a raccoon! It was sick, dude. Sick. Should we get a raccoon? Raccoon? Yeah. Um, yeah, right. Mm. They're wild animals. Oh. Guys, I think... Oh. Sorry to ruin the raccoon talk, guys, but I think we're back. You have a kick pedal now. Yeah. Okay. Everyone ready? Yeah, you start this one. Okay, um... Seven. <laughs>
coffins between my teeth and I feel it burn coming up my throat and mix it and acids and eulogies and I'm choking down grief for meals and I'm coughing on coffins between my teeth and I feel it burn coming up my throat and mix it doing fam he's okay he's okay guys yeah ryan you got this does anyone know why we haven't played a gig <laughs> in seven months mark don't forget to tune your bass right now no i'll do it when you're playing it that exactly. is so true Ryan is a bellend. <laughs> Bro, that's literally my dad. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna give Ryan a break now. Yeah, it's break time. Which means you don't get a break. Which means I don't get a break. Okay, some of you guys might know this next song. Owen is not here. And I'm really sad that Owen's not here because Owen loves this song. so old and tired but I am still a child I'm grown up now and the weight of the world is forever pressing on my shoulders I don't know what being grown up is my parents say they both feel like little kids I never keep my mind in one place only just begin to run this rat race Life goes by I could try But it feels like a waste of time Keep considering fully getting sober, but at only 18, I didn't want to seem so boring. But I get sad when I'm hungover and it's money down the drain. But the liquid luck does wonders for my brain. And every building in this city is so tall. I learn about the world, it makes me feel small. But I feel good about the plans we made. I know that it'll matter someday But I guess my solution for now Is to write a song about the ways I feel down Life goes by I could try But it feels like a waste of
Thank you. Oh, I got it. Your tune is. Yeah, sorry. Is everything good? Is everything sounding good? Does everyone like Mark's hair? I cut it the other day. I also I also cut Ryan's hair, everyone. Izzy is our hairdresser. I'm the hairdresser. Yeah, I'm not professional though. I'm not professional. Yeah, how explain to them how you cut my hair. Okay, so I cut Mark's hair the same way I cut my hair. Which is I put it in like three sections and then I like tie it off at the bottom. This is probably gonna make you really upset. I tie it off at the bottom and I, I make all the hair bands the same length. Don't look at me, right? I'm looking at you. <laughs> I tie the hair bands and I put them all the same length and then I just go. I, this is my technique. It's tried and tested. Thank you. Do you think mine looks nice though? Oh, he's ignoring Not listening. Uh, all right. Who wants to hear another song? We're pissing about. Um, this next one, um, it's really hard. It's really hard for Mark and Ryan. Yeah. So, especially for Ryan. Everyone. Thank you so much.
we're gonna do we're gonna do something we're gonna do something different now. We're gonna invite someone on stage. Westy! Westy. Hello. Where's your dungarees? I'd like to apologise to everyone for the lack of dungarees tonight. Apologise to my mum specifically. <laughs> Mark's mum. I um, I I, I apologise a lot. Um, I was not aware I was supposed to wear dungarees. It's Mark's fault. Mark should have told me. I assumed you would know. <laughs> Okay, so basically, we're gonna do a cover. <laughs> if you know it. Okay, so actually, um, I think there's not been enough mosh pits. Personally. Okay, so if you would like to participate in a mosh pit during this next song, uh, this is a nice little space here. This is the perfect song to mosh to. Where's it is a Jess? cover. If you are swag Where's as Jess? fuck, you will know it. Swag. Excuse me, uh, Jess Crawley. Is a that's a mosh pit. Get in it, get in it, get in it. <laughs>
Ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes. What? Guys, I don't think Westy's friends knew he was doing this tonight, apart from Sam, unless Sam spilled the beans. <laughs> Izzy. Oh, we're on a time schedule, bro. Okay, what time is it? It's ten minutes. Okay, do we need to cut a song? It's just one of those days. Okay, 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 okay. What's the time? Five minutes. Can we do two songs in five minutes?
Last song. Last song. Guys, thank you so much for coming. We have t-shirts over there. Please buy them. Um, please come. Don't give us a hug because we'll be sweating. We got no more songs and we've run out of time, sorry. Is it growing their own lettuces in the potholes on the road? Do the locals have to eat them all if they don't sell them? I call potholes concrete meadows of the soul.